Hey guys, greetings and salutations. This is James. Thank you for visiting my channel. I'm actually going to try something a little different. I'm actually going to review a, a TV show, the Netflix show uh, Resident Evil. And so I just really want to just um, unpack that. Um, I usually don't do reviews, but I thought this was sort of something that resonated with me and I think it resonates with a lot of us. So just going to share my perspective. I think it's kind of important to just going to share different perspectives when it comes to these things. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I love uh, your support. And if you have any thoughts on this video or any other video, please comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, I think for a lot of us Resident Evil fans, this is something very important to all of us. So I think it's important to at least have these dialogues, you know. Uh, so I'll just get right into it. Uh, you probably see my uh, TV in the background there. I actually picked up the medium today um, at GameStop. Uh, I know it's an older game and I know it started out on the new Xbox, but I bought it for my PS5. So I actually wanted to do that and uh, letting it download right now. But I wanted to actually knock off this video just to kind of share what's on my mind in regards to this new Resident Evil show. So let's just get straight to it. Um, I've actually watched the trailer maybe two or three times because, you know, it just was released. And I know the show is supposed to be due uh, in July this summer uh, 2022. And I'm still trying to understand what direction this show is supposed to be going. Looking at the trailer, it has almost any, uh, it looks like it's completely foreign to what it is that I've known for the last 20 plus years in regards to what Resident Evil is supposed to be. I'll just actually go through just some some things that really just kind of resonated with me and maybe some things that grabbed your attention as well. First off, I'm trying to find out why is Wesker black? Okay, that, that's like the elephant in the room, right? Why is Wesker, Albert Wesker, why is he even black? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a black man, okay? I I, I can respect Lance R uh, Reddick, a wonderful actor, phenomenal voice actor in many animations, video games, you know, very respectful man. So I'm not going to criticize his acting ability by no means. I, I can't, I can't, you know, the man is phenomenal with what he does. There's a reason why he obviously was selected to be even be considered for this kind of role. But with that being said, I really feel like it's an insult towards us fans that are very, I'm gonna say, who really are a lot of that are very convicted when it comes to taking the Resident Evil franchise seriously. I feel like this is sort of like a slap in the face to some of us. I, I, it's nothing to do with I have to have a white guy, you know, versus a black guy. It's not anything like that, but it's just staying true to the art of what the, uh, the people behind uh, the Resident Evil, you know, they're intentions when they first created this this world, you know, 20 plus years ago. The really the idea is just to stay true to what it is that they created and build on that. Now, I think that it would have been a good idea if we had a scenario in regards to, I don't know, maybe a family and their, I don't know, connection with the Umbrella Corporation or something like that. But I'm completely lost with why Wesker is black. Again, nothing against uh, Lance Reddick. I think he's a phenomenal actor. I have nothing against him. Okay, very distinct actor. I think he's wonderful in the John Wick films and all these other video game voiceovers. Many TV shows, many uh, movies, phenomenal guy, but uh, I just feel like that needs to be addressed. So that's the one I think that really just throws all of us off. For a lot of us that are hardcore fans of the Resident Evil franchise, I think that's the number one kicker. That's the one thing that's going to stand out and really tell us, or at least it tells us, that the people behind this show is not taking Resident Evil seriously at all. I guess the next thing I'm really confused by is the post-apocalyptic environment. Uh, now, I know that the Paul Anderson films with uh, Milo Jojovic, they went into a very post-apocalyptic direction after like the, I don't know, second or third film, right? There was some type of destruction of the world and all that kind of stuff and I'm still trying to figure out why did the movies even go in that direction and why is the show going in that direction when the current Resident Evil universe the franchise the core the the, the core foundation of what the story you know what what defines the actual story it's still it, it has it has yet to go into that direction there is no post-apocalyptic anything and I don't understand what is going on what why bring that even into the mix now I'm not sure if this Netflix show is trying to somehow borrow from the ideas of the Paul Anderson uh, films and I believe there was what six seven I actually own them all but I, I forgot I haven't watched them in a while I enjoyed them for what they were just not for Resident Evil but I enjoyed them for what they were I'm a big fan of Mila Jojovich. I love her work. I think she's a phenomenal actress and I enjoy the films. I've watched them plenty of times, but um, as for Resident Evil, my Resident Evil that, uh, you know, I used to play the PS1 with and, you know, then PS3 and, and 2 and, you know, I don't incorporate those 
uh, I'm gonna say those films as my Resident Evil, you know, the video game core foundational Resident. But I'm still confused why I introduce a post-apocalyptic world when Resident Evil, the actual Resident Evil franchise, has nothing to do with that. And so I don't know if they're trying to do a Walking Dead thing. And, and I'm almost wondering, would it have been just a good idea just to introduce uh, all of the concepts and the ideas that they were gonna offer in this uh, Netflix show just without associating it with Resident Evil. So that's just an idea. I, I don't know. I'm still confused. Why is there a post-apocalyptic universe when Resident Evil has nothing to do with that? I will say that there's a lot of us fans of the Resident Evil, Resident Evil franchise that feels kind of let down with a lot of the recent attempts to try to build something that's related to the, the world of Resident Evil. I think Capcom, of course, obviously does a very good job with staying true to their franchise, even when it comes to the CGI movies. I enjoy all three of the CGI movies. Uh, I think the fourth one came out as a Netflix uh, show divided into, what, two, three chapters, right? But uh, but you can essentially buy the movie and it's all just one. But that one was not my favorite, but I, the first three I really enjoyed a lot. And But yeah, just that being said, I'm confused with why not take the time to really properly research what the story looks like and just kind of keep it true to what it is, you know? And why even do it at all if... You know, the idea is to, I don't know, change it in so many different directions. You know, it's not really difficult to just find out, you know, Resident Evil fan clubs. Just talk to them, you know, whether you're an exec or whatever. Just talk to fans and tell them and ask them, hey, we're working on a show. What can we add to this story or what can we, you know, uh, add to what's going on so this can actually be more realistic or true to what it is that Resident Evil stands for? And so I'm just confused with why, why go in this direction, you know? And I, and you know, I don't know. It's um, it's a little troubling, but the, the I will say the trailer did did look very interesting, you know, in regards to what I was seeing. But the idea that it's supposed to be Resident Evil and this is somehow Lesker's family, and you know, and there's a new Raccoon City, and it's like, what, what, what's happening? What is this? You know? So I, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm a little confused with that. But I really feel like it would be nice to actually see something that comes out that stays true to what the franchise represents. Now, I will say the last uh, Resident Evil film uh, that came out last year, 2021, I actually enjoyed that a lot. Um, There's a few things, you know, the fact that part one and two were sort of implemented in one story, I wasn't too uh, a fan of that. I, I did enjoy, essentially, the attempt to actually keep things true. So I enjoyed it. You know, I bought it as soon as it came out and I went and bought a copy for some family members. But yeah, staying true to a franchise, I, I don't feel like that's that's difficult to do. There's so many fans, there's so many people that, you know, we, we eat, sleep, and just breathe Resident Evil that we will tell you, you know, you can go to forums, you can go to Twitter, you can go to blogs, people will tell you, you know, they will tell you and say, hey, make sure you get this right, or just do your research, you know? And I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of um, attempts sometimes to just put something out and associate it with this name, and they're not looking at, you know, things that really the fans, a lot of us, we care about. About, you know, uh, you know, one of the suggestions I would, you know, and I, I would share and I think I already shared it already is that I would love to see like side stories in regards to what actually could have taken place in the Resident Evil universe or even regarding uh, another family. It could be a family that has nothing to do with any of the immediate characters that we are familiar with in the Resident Evil series. Like I would love to see that. I would love to see the aftermath of Raccoon City. I would love to see a family trying to cope with the issues of trying to deal with in you know, losing family, losing their livelihood, maybe in Raccoon City or some of the events that took place in some of the games that affect a family or a city or you know I would love to see something like that that still takes place in the, the Resident Evil franchise in that universe that's true and everything that has taken place in the game still applies but maybe just a side story something that we haven't seen a, a story being told with survivors and things like that I would love to see that there's so many opportunities to to you know, capitalize, I want to say, to some extent, with these different characters of people that could have survived. It could have even been a character that had a small role in one of the games, but now we have them on the forefront, leading a story, you know, and trying to, for us to unpack their life, how the whole world and the T-virus and the, the monsters and the events of the games have affected a, a group or a family or a person or a survivor or a soldier. But I would love to see something like that. But, but what I'm seeing right now just kind of throws me off a little bit with this trailer and it's just and I will add the trailer um, link to my description just for anybody who hasn't seen it. Um, so I am kind of going in a little skeptical. Uh, one thing I will say that keeps separates me from I'm going to say a lot of our other critics when it comes to trailers like this or even shows and movies like this is I do actually believe that the best way to evaluate something is to actually watch it you know I've gone on YouTube I've gone online and I've seen a lot of people critique um, this particular show based on the trailer and say you know what I'm not watching this I'm not giving it a chance and to me I kind of think that's foolish I think it's really foolish to say you know what yes I'm a Resident Evil fan Yes, I, I, I really want to stay true to the story and I want to, you know, but 
this is coming out, so I'm not going to watch it, you know. And to me, I really feel like for anybody that's a devout fan of the franchise, of this this Resident Evil world, I think we owe it to ourselves just to take a look at at least the pilot, you know. But me, I'm going to watch the show. I'm going to keep up with it. I'm going to see what's going on, you know. And who knows? I may actually enjoy this. So that's one of the things I do want to encourage you guys to do is not to just throw it completely out. I will be honest. I'm a little skeptical with Wesker being black, post-apocalyptic universe. I don't know where the, all that's coming from, but I do want to see what's going on. Uh, I do enjoy The Walking Dead a lot. I really enjoy the story of The Walking Dead. Of, uh, it's one of my favorite shows, if not my favorite show, period. And, um, you yeah, know, I, I just want to encourage you guys to at least give this new show a chance just to see what it is that is going on. Now, obviously, they're going in a very different direction than what the Resident Evil franchise has established, but it's still interesting just to see what's going on because what if the story actually is good? What if it is interesting? What if they are going to present something that is something that we're, we're not accustomed to, you know? So I just want to uh, at least encourage you guys to just give it a chance, you know? I'm going to give it a chance. I give everything a chance, movie shows, before I at least tear them down or, or say something negative about them. I want to at least watch them and give them a chance. So if I'm having a conversation with anybody, I can say, hey, I'm not just going to give my opinion about this because I watched the trailer, but because I watched the show and this is what I approve of or this is what I don't approve of. So I just want to throw that out there. My name is James. Thank you guys for uh, taking a look at this. This is my first time just reviewing a trailer. I normally don't do that, but I felt like this was necessary because I really enjoy the Resident Evil franchise and uh, I'm sure you guys do too if you're watching this. God bless you guys. Take care. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts about anything I said or any of your thoughts about this trailer because I will be checking it out July. Going to be a little skeptical, but I will be checking it out. All right. Peace. Take care.